Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're going to take a look at the men's Dan Post Mignon J-Toe Cowboy Boots. I've had these boots for about a year and a half now. I haven't worn them heavily as these are mainly my dress boots. But I'll kind of show you around and uh, kind of give you my opinion on them. I got these off shoes.com. These retail for $169.95. You can get them in a narrow, a regular, or an extra wide. They only come in black, and they have most, uh, if not all, of the major sizes. I mean, you can get these up until uh, up until a 16 and as small as a 7. And Choose.com is a really good website to deal with. Uh, I've bought many things off there, and they've been really good to me. I'm not being paid to say this or anything. It's just just my opinion. Usually if I like something, I like to tell other people and uh, so I can steer them, steer them the right way. So here are the boots right here. You've got the front right here. You've got uh, some nice detailed stitching right there. These are J-toe, so they're a pointed toe. And then you have a full leather shaft inside and outside. And then I think the stitching right here is just really sweet. I really like that. It's a lot of character in it. It's almost too bad that your pant leg has to cover it up. And then I'll show you the other side right here, kind of from the other side perspective. And then this is the other boot right here. And then, so yeah, and these are, just so I don't forget, these are model number 2110, DP 2110, mine are in the size 10 and a half, and then it kind of gives you all the other information right here. I'll put a link in the description so you can buy these if you want to from uh, shoes.com. These have leather soles, you have a rubber heel cap. As I said, I haven't worn these a ton, so you can kind of see that. You can still kind of see the Dan Post uh, logo there. Uh, what's kind of interesting about these and a lot of Dan Posts is, um, despite the fact that they're leather sole, they have a cushioned inside now. They have a removable sole, which is kind of nice, especially if you have to do some walking. I actually, myself, prefer a leather line boot, but it's still pretty nice, and I can see why a lot of... Uh, I can see like why a lot of people like them and everything like that. <sighs> These look great like with a pair of dress slacks, a pair of khakis, or even with a suit, they would look really awesome. I have not had a chance to wear these with a suit yet, but the next time I wear one, I'm definitely going to wear these. Because they just look, um, I mean, they just look really classy. I really like the shine on them. I think that just looks really sharp. Uh, with the pointed toe and everything. It's just um, just a really good pair of boots for the money. I like Dan Post because they're not cheap, but they're not too expensive either. So for about $170, you're getting a pretty good cowboy boot. If you want a good pair of boots, you have to at least spend 130 to at least 150 at least to get something decent. Because if you buy you know, a $50 pair of boots or a $60 pair of boots, you're going to get a $60 pair of boots. You're going to get something that's man-made, um, you know, something that's not going to last you. You're not going to get something with leather soles. They're likely going to have cheap rubber or some sort of man-made sole on them. So, yeah, yeah, so spending a little more is definitely worth the money. But, yeah, that's these, and if you guys have any questions on these or anything like that, uh, feel free to ask me. If you have these boots, uh, let me know as well and tell me what you think. So, until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.